there's small batteries and there's big batteries but there's now also smart lithium iron phosphate bluetooth enabled mega batteries oh yes So what I've got here today is a massive power bank by a company called EcoFlow. Now EcoFlow started in 2017 and this particular unit is called the EcoFlow Delta Pro. And here in the UK it comes fitted out to supply a standard AC 240 volt supply as well as a USB and USB-C outlets on the front. It has a capacity of 3.6 kilowatt hours and has been designed to power heavy duty appliances. And anything you can run in your home off of a normal socket, you can run off of this because it's got an output of 3,600 watts. That's equivalent to a 240 volt supply using a 13 amp fuse because it's amps times watts equals volt. Or is it amps times volts? Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can also add additional batteries to the Delta Pro, essentially increasing its capacity. But we'll come back to that later. Charging is easy and it charges quickly. When I first got this, it was at 30% charge. And within one hour, it went up from 30% to 80%. So that's half of the charge of the whole unit just in one hour. It uses new lithium iron phosphate batteries, which have some of the largest lifespans and apparently are good for 6,500 cycles, which is about 6,000 more cycles than I'll ever need. Anyway, as well as charging from the mains, it can also be charged from your car and using solar panels. I got the 400 watt solar panel with this unit and it comes with a big travel bag that doubles up as a frame to hold the panels up towards the sun. After fitting a few clips and fiddling around with the zip, I plugged it into the unit and it immediately started charging. Although I must admit, I didn't pick the best of days for this as it's now winter. But anyway, the setup still managed to output almost 300 watts, which I was surprised about given the weather. And it also tells me at the same time that it's gonna take six hours to get fully charged. So well within a day, especially if you're using this in the summer. And while it's charging, or for any other time for that matter, because it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, you can get a full update on exactly where it is on your phone. Which is all very well, but the reason I got this is I've got lots of work to do out in the paddock that's miles away from any main supply. Maybe a little bit like a builder putting up a house before the power's been turned on. And some of my tools take quite a lot of power, and they're not the most expensive power tools with soft starts. They're at the other end of the spectrum from a soft start. They're the, like the hardest start you can possibly get. So let's see how this got on when I put it through its paces. Because this box is absolutely stuffed with batteries, it's not light and having the handle and the wheels on it helps a lot. A couple of months ago, you might have seen me enclose this outbuilding in my paddock area and every piece of timber that I used on it had to be cut. But what you might not have noticed is that my vintage B&Q new tool miter saw was actually being powered by the Delta Pro. This old saw has a 1400 watt motor and a very hard start which used to dim the lights in my old garage when I used to use it there. And 20 years on, it hasn't changed a bit. The work to enclose this building happened over a three day period. And all the work with the tools took just over the 3.6 kilowatt hour capacity of the unit, with me topping it up overnight once, just to make sure I didn't run out on the last day. Although most of the work was with the mitre saw, I also had concrete to mix, so it ran my mixer. Which just performed as if it was running on a main supply.
On the third day, as I gradually enclosed the building, I also added a light so I could see what I was doing. And soon after I'd finished enclosing the barn shed type thing, you would have seen me splitting logs with my new log splitter, powered by my Delta Pro. And even though my new log splitter is absolutely brand new, it's still got one of the hardest starts I've ever had on any power tool. This handy log splitter, that's the make apparently, I bought from Wix recently and it has a 2200 watt motor and kicks in quite dramatically when you start it. The motor then powers a hydraulic pump that pushes a piston to split the logs by pushing them into a blade. You'll see the pull on power when this is first turned on dims my old halogen lamp here that I've set up. At first I was worried that the hard start, together with the powering of the light, which I really need now because the building's all enclosed, may overload the unit and trip it out. But it hasn't so far, and all my tools have performed just as though they're plugged into the mains. So I must say I'm really impressed with this Delta Pro's power and stamina. Now I mentioned at the start that you can get an extra battery to increase the capacity of the Delta Pro and this is what it looks like. It's exactly the same size and shape as the Delta Pro and it has the same capacity. So this is another 3.6 kilowatt hour. So we now have 7.2 kilowatt hours both joined together with some big chunky cable at the back there. And they both talk to each other as well. And now because I've got more charge in the Delta Pro compared to the battery, it's trying to charge the battery and equal out the levels. And with more additional batteries, you can get to a maximum of 25 kilowatt hours, which is enough to power the key items in an average home for a number of days. Which brings me on to another main use of this type of system, which is as a backup to your home mains power supply. You see, as well as them being powerful enough to power your household appliances individually, EcoFlow also sell a smart home panel that connects these units directly into your home's wiring. So even if the grid goes down, the smart panel instantly switches to battery backup, making use of these batteries and keeping everything in your house still running. So there you go, the future of portable power. I think we're all going to see this type of unit more and more in the future and probably less petrol driven generators it's almost inevitable we can't get away from it if you want to see more details on this I put a link in the description below where you can see all the different types the prices accessories and everything else so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you next time